Then she goes with a yaw. Whoa! I thought it was sipping. <laughs> it was just you holding and moving the, the drag on. It scared me. I had her pay for some reaction. Hi, everyone. We got a special treat. Just right now. And it's not and it's not my hair. No. She's proud of it, guys. Yeah. Compliment my hair, please. It's very beautiful today. I had it in a braid. Anyway. Uh, I'm here with the... Uh, with Dr. Nan and we are gonna do this really cool super cool thing on this girl who has a pretty big cyst on her rump as you can see right here pretty big and we are gonna remove this with a local anesthetic normally I guess the vet would have taken putting the guinea pig under which you know is tough on the piggy so everyone says hi Dr. Nan hi everyone so we're gonna we're gonna do it without, which is pretty is cool. Huh? Is You're not gonna use the table? Jen will hold up her. Ah, okay. I need to get in here. And then Julia needs to come in here for the real proper videoing. So. Uh, da -da -da, where do I go? But maybe you could move a little bit, Doctor. Yeah, I'll put her on Jen's lap. You ready for her? I'm, well, I'm gonna have to come around backside. But I wanted to say maybe you wanted to get to the video. Hi Jen! Hi guys! Okay. Proper hold of okay. Good girl! We're gonna get that out. There you go. Because these things can grow, they can burst, they become just horrible. Icky, nasty, the reverse, and, and guinea pigs are lumpy. They just always get these lumps. They always say it, they're lumpy. And, and these are so common. No idea why they get them, but they just do. Uh, some can have several ones. Because you kept it coming in on me. <laughs> The channel's called Yes. Oh, this is our channel's called Dr. Nen. Just go look for Dr. Nen. Dr. N-E-N-N -E -N, and you'll find it. And she just started her YouTube channel so we all gotta go rush and, and subscribe. Thank you. Because there'll be lots of guinea pig stuff that need to be seen and different ways of treating that we're working so, with. This is just the numbing. inside and I've always used to say you just you can't get it out unless you surgically remove it but we're gonna attempt to get the whole sack out and then you're not gonna have that pro recurring problem it's lidocaine oh, I've got a little, a little, little snack. Snack. bag back there with pepper pieces
comfortable. Topical lidocaine. Like the commentator. <laughs> Just kind of smother it around and we'll give her one more clean after. Says, Dr. Nan is the best. <laughs> when your hands are sweaty on the hot days outside, the gloves are the worst thing ever. I always stand in front of the fan. Catherine taught me to stand in front of the fan and air my hands out every time. Good puppy. Puppy. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Are you going to grow at all? No. Oh, no. She's one years old. She's done. That's it? Mm -hmm. Oh, she my goodness. Upstairs. Feel the pressure again. So this doesn't hurt, but it's the pressure that's just really, really uncomfortable. It's like popping a really big. Yeah, and because you can't tell them what's going on. I mean, it's you know, it's kind of hard. They're like, what? What is this weird feeling? And so they're gonna respond to that. Because even if you're numb you can still feel like some weird pressure you know and that's what she's responding to she's kind of moving like hey what are you doing what's going on it's kind of kind of odd So while Dr. Nan is going to go dig for that, I'm going to go, because I'm running behind on health checks. But I'm going to also go, I wish I could stay and watch, but I can't, because we got, we got people. That's why we feel like this whole area underneath we the have peeps. The, the leg area, okay? So yeah, I mean, pretty, pretty normal. Hi. Benji! Benji! Benji comes up. Well, Benji. Congratulations! So I'm just doing a pocket clean and then I'll be out of here. No, please stay. I thought this, this is new. This works better. Well, okay, I'm just going to go and look at the, the Yeah, you do that. I wish I could see, but we're busy, so. Hold on, guys. Let me aim it at Benji. He's being so patient. There he is. All right, we got this new thing. I'm sorry, buddy. It's not fair to you. Hold on. Is that good? All right. He's so cute. Look at his face. And his crown. He's a king. All right. 
just gonna clean his pocket. I'm pretty much done. He comes here regularly. Hey, Julian. Hello. Trip, trip, trip. Oh yeah, he does look like spaghetti from It's Pigs. Yeah, he's pooping. All right, let me get my Q-tips lined up. And let's spread them. Oh, he's packing some. Oh, he's packing some. Serious pocket gunk. Oh my gosh, look at this poop factory. It's literally one after the other. It's okay, buddy. Take that off. Yeah, it's like a Pez dispenser. Look, it's another one's coming. I can't even get in his pocket because all I get... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. Here we go. We're almost done, okay? Let me get really in there. I don't like to leave anything behind. It's got the sinky-winky in my way. Buddy, you gotta put that away. You can't properly get in here. It doesn't hurt them. It's a little uncomfortable. But see, nice and clean. You gotta turn it all the way inside out to really see. Put the winky back away. Okay. And we're all good. Uh oh, more poops. He pooped one, two, three, four, five, six. Six poops. Alright. How's everyone doing today? I'm sure he doesn't like that. Happy Saturday. It is so hot, you guys. I'm gonna melt. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Just warm. Here comes Saskia. So what we're missing on the other side while we're filming is that she's getting out that sack piece by piece by piece and it's just so amazing to watch because I love it and I can just sit there and watch and, um, and that's what does it it's like getting getting it all out bit by bit, bit, bit and then it won't come back it doesn't need stitches as long as all the crap in the crud is out what are you doing? Handle? I would love you to know, see the, the only thing that the piggy doesn't like is, is it's it's totally, it's being numbed and there's weird lidocaine. This initial squeezing of, you know, getting the cis material out. That's what's like making the pig kind of, you know, uncomfortable. Right. Okay. But once that pressure's gone, then she's just happily sitting there. She doesn't feel a thing. Yeah. Awesome. How do you feel about that? You want some of it. Okay. So what am I doing? Nothing. I mean, you can do a health check. Well, I mean, I can go out check. It doesn't really matter. Nothing. But then she's not. I came all the way here for nothing. Hi, guys. Check out the bus. How is the family? I'm going to clean here. Hey, Brian. I'm going to clean up now. Brought cigarettes. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Hi, everybody. Oh, my gosh. Seriously, I didn't put my glasses on the reach and aims. It's terrible. And then the light's not helping out. Lisa, Roy, Kathy, Brigitte, Tanya. I got your letter, Brigitte. Thank you so much. That was so sweet. You put tears in my eyes, actually. You did. You did. That was very sweet. And thank you. Okay. Nothing to do, apparently. 
Piggies here? Yeah, right here. Oh, piggies. Anyway, you like in there? Huh? Didn't that red hair like it? Okay. Hi, Matt. So, but who is that? Oh, this is mine. This is, this is your pig. Oh. Okay, I'm really confused now. Very confused. Um, whose piggies are these? And they need a, a health check? Okay, so now we're getting somewhere. All right, I'll do that right now. After I clean my glasses, they're so dirty. Do you think alcohol works better? Or like, you know, the, the, the window cleaner X. Clean X, no. Window, what do you call it? I wonder. Because even with the alcohol, it just still doesn't seem like that good. These are some of the East Valley eggs. Alcohol. Thank you. That's what That's I did. Paperwork. Nederland! Hello! Goedemiddag, avond. Avond. Middag. Avond. Windex, thank you very much. Goedjes terug. Okay. Here. glasses too. Hi there. Hi there. Okay, let's get you here. Yeah, some box. Yeah. So Brian brought some fish from East Valley, remember? I told you we were yeah. gonna get three males and then two young females that and they put them all together? No. No. Well <laughs> We never know. Yeah, that's I know. Not that's, <laughs> that's why I'm asking because they do that. I swear to God, guys. So there should be two carriers from East Valley. This happens. <laughs> not just the shelters, but people too. And they're like, oh, it's only five minutes on the way here. <laughs> it's like, great, thanks. We need to put that on the surrender form. You, you can come surrender, but please don't put them together. <laughs> That means an automatic two-month halt on the female. Uh, says uh, Ursula. Says what's this guy's name? She's gone. I don't know where she went. You come out Nederland, but you've been new in Zweden on vacation. Lekker gezellig, leuk. Zweden is mooi. Mijn beste vriendinnetje wilde daar gaan wonen met de familie. En ik doe je dat nou? Ga je daar helemaal wonen? Ja, en dan spreek de taal wel niet. Sorry for the Dutch guys. Talking about moving to Sweden if you don't even speak the language. Yeah. That's kind of like. Uh, what's the word? Adventurous. Mijn Nederlands klinkt zo leuk. <laughs> Ik kom uit Rotterdam en ik kan je zeker wel horen. Oké, okay, this little mister has a little bit of dirty butt. See that? So I'm just cutting off the dirty hair. Because I'm not going to wash them out. Because there's no shampoo that can wash this stuff out. So I just like to cut it. All the greasy pieces. Like I can take those off by hand. in his butt. No, we never actually go there. There's never, nothing ever goes there. There. Good job, buddy. Yeah, youngster. Yeah. You look okay. These are for you to for later. Oh, you want me to do them later? Okay. Yeah. Okay. What is 
time for for the reckoning. <laughs> All right, little man, but he's a youngster. We're not gonna have too much satisfaction here because the young boys they kind of don't really need doing. See, clean. And it's got a little dirt here that I'd like to clean up, but. And that too, yeah, just a little wee bit, a little thing in the pocket I can just take a little scoop at. Just some hair. And it's not really smegma or anything. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. And then I would like to put a little oil because it's a little just dirty here. Yeah, because when you're picking up your guinea pig, you let me see your angle. Yeah, you want this to be clean, right? <laughs> So I always make sure to get all the little black pieces off and yeah, clean it up. There. And then of course he gets a little ivermectin which prevents mice, mites and internal parasites. Ah, there we are. Wait, oh it doesn't matter. I can just put it back in the... Almost done baby. Almost done. Oh good boy! Good boy! She's a little bro. Hi, buddy. What a good, what a good boy. And you got all this stuff here, all this dirt in your hair. Little parasite check. You gotta always do it, because you never know. You know, I always say parasite check, check check the skin, check the neck. It's really important. So the last two workshops I did, I had one lady, because we're doing the health check all together, right? One lady, skinny pig, had lice, and the other gentleman, skinny pig, had tumors under his neck. And no idea, because they weren't doing the health checks. That's why they kind of there to learn to do, right? Um, so the other thing I started doing too, guys, just so you know, is to check for the the lymph nodes under the arm here. And there's a lot of lipomas here, so it's hard to discern which is the lymph node, which is the lipoma, and they also right here in the in, in, in the armpit as such. The best way to find the ones in the back is to literally do this. This is where you feel them, like this, two fingers. This is how you feel them, because with that guinea pig to who had a one in his neck, I tried to, I, I felt him from here, and I didn't feel anything until I, I did this, and I'm like, whoa, wait a second. Totally got a different angle to view uh, from that. You see your teeth? It's beautiful teeth. Your ears are good, it's so pretty. Okay, can I see your little business? Do I need to put my gloves on? No, nope, not really. I'm just gonna clean the outside. There we go. Hmm, good job. Good job. Yeah, good boy. Good job. There. Good job. And a little ivermectin prevent you from all kinds of ickies and nasties that come and want to mess with you. So there. Okay, they look good. Um, did you need to get any supplies? No, that's it? You got your car running? Super hot today. Want to get your car running and then come get them? It's already good? Okay. Yeah, How much? Five dollars. I can do that. I got five dollars. This is our little change. I've had this thing for mm, eight years and it looks like brand new. Isn't it amazing? How many do you need? Five bucks? Yes. Thanks. And then can you take this and bring it? You could do it at the same time. It hurts me off. Okay, next. My next. Give this to who? Give this to who? To the girl with the orange shirt. Yeah. Okay. Man, it's it's 
hot here. I don't know where you are, where you are living. It's gonna be, what's the heat? What's the highest today for today? Like 105 or something silly? How much? I thought maybe someone knew it by heart. I think it's like 105. That's like crazy. No, no, they're not. In the green cage. That's what she's pointing to the green cage. Right there. That's what I said. Yeah. Wait, green cage. Okay. So was that a pink cage? And who went first? If she needs a vet, yeah, a vet appointment. This is just a health check. Yeah. Uh, I have a feeling that that might be running a little late. Remember where you were on 9/11? Hi, Jenny. Uh, yes, I was in school, and then I went home because everyone was afraid LA was next. But I was actually at the top of the towers exactly a month before it went down. Isn't that crazy? And my friend's dad was supposed to be 14 about the time before that day. So I was in New York. That's very. Is true. it okay if I do the other ladies this first? Because they gotta go to the bed. Is that okay? Hi everyone. Hi Alisa. Hi Ricky. Hi Tatiana. Gonna do yours first and then and then yours. Ricky, you're so cute. Alisa. Hi Michael. Hi Jimmy. Okay. 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 Well, I get I move this so I can keep it up. My college roommate woke me up. I was at SUNY for Dome, and um, I remember like we had because we were close to Canada. We had the CBC, which is Canadian Broadcasting. I thought it was happening in Canada. Yeah. Can you give me a fungal sheet and I hand it over like to them? Years. Brian, can you get a fungal sheet for them? Get what? A fungal sheet for the people's oh. house. If she, yeah, it's just starting. She can just nip it in the butt right now. Hey, little one. Hey, baby, good girl. Is your girl? Girl, we just started. So, what is the um, concern with her? They both have it. And uh, did they come from one of the pet stores by any chance? They came from here. And they both have an upper respiratory. What's that? Okay. And then she caught so. Yeah, shoot. Mm -hmm. Oh, you did? Okay, so I won't, I won't use it then. Okay, well you look good otherwise.
Okay, you see, this is your sister. Hello, my little sister. My sister, good girl. Hi. Oh, no, I have a mectin because she treated them. Tell me stories. Oh, Tell me the stories. Come on. I'll translate for everyone. <laughs> Come on. No? Bit shy now. Stage fright. It's okay. She just made one strong statement. One strong statement. Yeah. Okay. I can do that. I can like do like a book of one-liners. That's fine too. Yeah. It's okay. yeah. You don't need to clean them. Who owns these ones? Her ears are very clean. Do you clean them? Really? Oh, why you sneeze? Are you sneezing things or are you sneezing? Has she sneezed before? Yes. Yes. We'll stop talking for a second. Stop complaining. Talking too much. <laughs> You're talking too much. You got any sniffies? Right now, I would just watch it because she's not showing any other signs guys? of an upper respiratory infection, which okay. is what I would worry about. Um, which is also super treatable with antibiotics, but it's just something to monitor. If she starts getting a little more sneezy, or if you see any kind of like crusts or mucus around the eyes or nose, um, any kind of dirt all on her paws, sides of front, insides of her okay. paws here. I got one. Um, in the I got front, one. They would now what? Oh, why would you? Why would you have them pee on me? <laughs> what? No, you are peeing. Your pig's peeing on itself. This is not even me. Nothing to me. Oh, I thought your pig was peeing. <laughs> Okay, now chicken. Yes, of course, look. They're not even wet. There, yes it is. No, my pig didn't pee on you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> trying to find the culprit. Oh, thanks Delilah. <laughs> oh no, she peed on me. She peed on me. Oh, okay. good job. My girl peed on me last night too. Alright, mister. No, no girl sniffing, okay? When they do that, I just put some alcohol and then it's over. They don't want to sniff that. I don't like it when they go girl sniffing because when you put them back with their with their male friend, it's like it becomes mayhem. More girl sniffing? Yeah, no girl sniffing. No. <laughs> so, are they all males? Yeah. And they all have lived happily together? Yeah. For now? Yeah. Did they come from the pet store? Yeah. Any of them sneezing? So, it's really hard to have Three males living together. Did you know? Did someone tell you that? So now they're at the age, everything's still okay. But then when they get to like a little older, like four, five, six, seven months, they can definitely start to display, you know, become more dominant. And I'm the boss and you're not. And they start to chase each other and start fighting. So I need you to be prepared for that. And for that reason, we never adopt out three males together. Um, because I know they're gonna come back. It's, it's usually it's not gonna work out well um, But sometimes it's okay. I mean there's such a thing that we call a Buddha pig who is like a Zen monk And he doesn't really get bothered by much, you know, and those you can put anywhere 
Um, but generally speaking, three males, when they get a certain age, they might start rumbling around a little bit and tussle with each other, okay? And if that happens, you might have to separate. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Little man. Oh, you are cute. He's a very cute dude. That water noise that you're hearing is filling up our, our cooler. donations when it's sitting on the table here. People don't have 12 foot arms? No. No. And unfortunately we have to tie it to the thing because there are people unfortunately who might want to take a runner with it. This I never understood. But this is it happens. Hi everybody. Ah no else Deutschland. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. I don't know if I did this already. Probably did. Never. Don't hurt too many, then not. Someone's 
Time plus, skinny big says hello, D home, hi, truffle, Baz, you want a fry? You did, you want a fry for Christ. Baz and Jen, hi Jen, Thanks thank you, so, you so much. Thank you so much for your card, but I think I already saw Oh, I, ad I got to address the envelope to you, to the UK, that was fun. <laughs> Remind me of when I was there. This is an adoption? <laughs> that was that was that was really good. You see the look on her face. It's <laughs> oh. <laughs> priceless. Seriously, I'm gonna blow it up. <laughs> oh my gosh! I told I don't know if you heard what I said, but I, I said oh, is this an adoption because we do pre-adoption health checks. And she said yes. And I looked at her and I said, you guys need to start doing your own... I thought you were serious for a second. She's your so own health funny. Checks. You fooled me. I was like, whoa. <laughs> and then her son was like, she didn't know what to say. <laughs> and it was great. She's so funny, isn't she? Yeah, I'm so funny. And the I'm only one who thinks it's her. funny is me. That's so the other funny. thing. I'm the only one who thinks it's funny. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I might be a little... Yeah. I'll do my own health checks. You yeah. take your own pictures. Oh, <laughs> burn! <laughs> Took you a while to come up with that one. It'd be faster, sister. Okay, a little quick see. He looks good. He looks good, buddy. Very pretty. Look at him. Cream. He was born here, I think. He was born here? His buddy passed oh, away. Oh, Georgie, so cute. They adopted him, I think they said, back in February. And uh, sadly, his buddy just recently passed. So, he's here to find him a friend. Just really the tricolor. Has Anyway, which one of you signed up to Nance, Dr. Nance channel yet? Because it's a shame because now she's going to be posting all the cool videos that we usually would be posting on our channel, but I just want her videos and her procedures to be seen by the medical community. Now, veterinarians are more likely to take the word of a veterinarian. So they see her doing things that are a little, you know, what's the word? Um, um, kosher? Huh? <laughs> no. Uh, I don't know. What are you trying to say? Uh, I just came out. No, that are different from the Different norm. than the normal procedure? Yeah. That would be actually... Alternative treatments? Yeah better ones, uh, I'd like to call it, um, that don't cost as much and are, you know, people doesn't have to be food under, all that good stuff. So yeah. That is good. Okay, mister, you ready for your adoption? I think Ursula's going to come pick him up from here, right? Okay. And this is an outdoor way you up to these, these pretty boys. Congratulations. Girls. Yeah. Boys? No. The girls? No. Okay, well, she must be filling it up. Just use some of the uh, pure alcohol. You can, you know, make 
cross contamination. It just, I'm terrified. Though. Terrified. But you guys who watch me, you know that already. get to see them and make sure they're healthy so we don't obviously want to adopt out a guinea pig that's not healthy and there are things that can develop while the piggy is here uh, in the meantime from getting adopted out so may I come in healthy and by the time <clears throat> he gets adopted it may have developed a cyst or you know something else or a lump or whatever that we didn't pick up on so or a stone I mean so we just want to minimize that or a sneeze or whatever so that we always make sure we're you know, to the best of our knowledge sending out healthy animals And most of them don't, don't come here healthy. That's the other thing. It's just in, 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 an impossible amount of pigs that are sick, that get surrendered, that are in the shelters. They have stuff going on. It's it's a lot. That's why we always have so many sickies. They call them sickies. But those are usually the ones we can fix up. We can fix up sickies. But sometimes, as I did a little walk through yesterday, and you'll see that there's a really lot of uh, sanctuary animals right now that we, nobody really is going to want to take this on. Oh, you've got a little bit of dirty ears. I want to just clean you up, girl, for your new home. Not bad, but see, that's not bad for black eyes. Ears, sorry. That is not bad. I like to see shiny ears in the inside, <laughs> but it's only when you just just clean them off, actually. Yeah. Um, I think Jules is gonna uh, have a have an overdue do-over from last week, and she's got some beautiful stones that we are going to raffle. Just a few pretty ones, right? Um, how many do we have? Five? Oh, we're going to do them on the live? Yeah. Okay. Oh, what you got here, girl? What you got? Okay. You got teeny, teeny. Yeah. That's nothing. Okay, mommy, 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 mommy. It's okay. I, I do want to give you a little bit of this. Yeah, they often get like dirt, like crusty, the ends of the ear get crusty sometimes. Just a little oil and just your nail, you can come a, far, come, come a long way with cleaning, cleaning that up. And it's not necessarily um, ringworm, you know.
very sweet. I forget where she comes from, but we were all fussing over her because she was just so sweet. Oh, what you got? You got something here? A little stone? No. Good. Who for you? All right. Getting insurance? Someone talk to you about insurance? Because they're a certain age, I would think about doing insurance. The only company that offers it is Nationwide. And I, I'm not sure how much it is, they're, they're monthly, but I do know that they pay 90%. Even the doctor visit, the doctor exam, fee, whatever. Yes, everything. Um, so I just, oh shoot, I just spoke to um, one of the people and I asked them a whole bunch of questions, which of course I've forgotten, but um, it's definitely, there, there, are, there is only one insurance company that insures guinea pigs, for starters, and they, they are really, really good. Okay. 90% of everything. So I would definitely do it. Pretty girl. Okay, sorry, I am getting distracted talking. That's what happens. I'd like a little more of the snails. Yes. You don't have this in the system for the one she's holding there. What is it? Oh, that's a geez. Woo, that is a bunny hat, and those will be forty-five ninety-five. They're a lot uh, more expensive. That's a that's for bunny, but you can you can do guinea pig too. Yeah. So. Yeah, and we haven't put it in the in the technology yet. You are a lucky girl. Look at this baby. Yes. And she probably is a bullet pig. If she's blind and deaf, then there is there really is no other. Son, it's my love. You know. Ursula and I love that. It has to be the bulla. It has to be the middle ear. Do we have them in boxes or are they just... Named after my friend. Do have them in boxes? I want them there somewhere. They are just not in the system yet. Is that 45? For the big uh, bunny, bunny houses. Yeah. And you could replace them too if you want. <laughs> She's a redhead.
just staring at that like thing. Watch me.
Okay, my uh, my lab, my lab can wait. Abby, I'll be here.
Literally, I got like a little thing like this that I just kept pulling stuff out of his little mouth till I could finally see his little teeth. And they were all, you know, grown over each other. It was like, it was a mess in their mouth. So, he also had really weird mass right here and one leaky eye. So, he had a big mass on top here. And we saw that just recently with a pig that we x-rayed had a massive tumor that was actually coming out of her mouth anyway it seemed very similar to that so um the owner decided that she really wanted to give it a go she wasn't ready to let go of him um so dr nan did his teeth trimmed his teeth consciously trimmed his teeth i want to add that because that that is very important for me and um and what else? Anyway, that was it. I just wanted to check what, what was that, you know, what she determined was that big lump. And she said, yeah, that was a mass that is probably connected to the tooth root, which is why he probably got this, this, you know, root yeah, issue. But, um, ah, it's 
very, very sad, and he was very skinny, but hopefully now with his teeth, he can at least uh, syringe so feed, because she, he couldn't even eat yes. syringe fed before that, because there was too much food in his mouth. Yay! And then she needs, uh, like, a little syringe. Do you need, like, the, the, you, you need the, okay, no, the, this one. Where's that? That is, uh, either in, on the desk, in the, what's the, Fire department doing here. Can someone call Gabe? Let him know they're here. Fire department. Oh, you already filled it out. You're, you guys are already set. Yeah. Can you see it? Yeah, that's what you guys filled out. That's what I gave you guys. Thank you guys. We'll see you guys when you get back. Yeah, cool. Okay. 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 Uh, so I forget where I was. Yes, I'm just trying to clean up the red. They probably want to check out. We got some party going on they didn't know about. <laughs> because it's always so busy here on Saturday. I have a funny story about that. We had uh, one of our m more successful uh, guinea pig fall festivals. There must have been 1,000, 1,200 people here. And then there was uh, two uniformed cops showed up. And... Dr. Nen's husband. Oh, that's Dr. Nen's husband? <laughs> sure. Well, it's kind of, you know, someone, well, something happened. If I have an apartment call. Don't they usually have sirens and, like, stretchers and things like that? Dr. Nen's husband is a fireman. Who's is this? Anybody? They both drive thing? cool trucks. You got a little juke law, see that guys? It's a little juke law. But hey, come back. Where are you going? Come back here, come back here, little redhead. Come back here, little stinker. Yes. Let me see. Uh, with a little hey. dinosaur hiding. Yeah. Why are you going to the vet? Is what I want to know. He's here for a friend. Does someone give you the guinea pig? What can you do? No. Is this for no, the this is, I don't know. But I have oh. this. My parents got me this for Christmas. Hi! Hi! There you are! Hi, sweetheart. Here, you. say hi to everybody. Say hi. hi. <laughs> say hi, everyone. We were like, Hello. what's oh, the look, crew everybody. doing here? <laughs> it's Dr. Ned's husband. I was like, oh no, they're gonna shut us down because you got too many people here or something. <laughs> it's so funny how we're so, so afraid of, like, you know, police and. They're the firemen, obviously, they're the different. He looks really great, actually. Yeah. Okay, so he is good. There's nothing that's girly, actually. I keep saying he. That's good. He's your good girl. Is she going to the doctor? What's 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 she going to the doctor for? X-rays. We want to see if she has a heart condition. Is she hooted? The eye. And um, she hoots. Okay. And what did she say? Okay, do me a favor. Tell or ask Dr. Nan to do a head x-ray. Have you heard of my study that yes. me and Dr. Nan have done, actually? Yes. Yeah. So let's include a, ear, a head x-ray because that might explain a lot as well. Okay, great. Though so the hooting generally, I, I haven't seen the hooting connected to the calcified bullet syndrome, but, you know, maybe, uh, maybe, maybe it's both because you're kind of explaining things that, that have something to do with each other, with, you know, could be both. So. Okay. The banana sapril helps. Well, we gotta find out what it is first. She needs to get diagnosed. But when Autumn and Gucci were hooting the banana sapril. Yes, because they probably had a hard problem. This could be more than the last time.
guys have been left again. Sauce is so bad at that. What is she doing? <laughs> I'll do some more help checks. Husband. Everybody always says that when I say that. Ooh, she she likes it. Why you gotta gawk about it? He's handsome. What can I say? He's a fireman. He's kind of hot, no? <laughs> I'm not supposed to say that. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Especially in uniform. Going for that? <laughs> okay, stop it. <laughs> oh my God. And by the way, Gabe would just be laughing if I said something like that. Okay, next patient, please. I don't know. I don't know anything. I don't have the beer. I don't know anything. Did you get the carrier? randomly went to the bed, everything's okay, should it be concerned with normal? No, not normal. Absolutely not. Sneezing randomly, not okay. That is what they get. I think, I think that that is what might be causing the calcified bulla syndrome. That low grade kind of sneezing every now and then kind of thing that might be giving those nasty bugs the opportunity to go inside the middle ear and once they're there medicine is not going to reach you. Uh, who am I doing? This is an adoption. Is this one of our babies? The one you took the picture with today. Yeah. This is, who is adopting this little baby? No, I'll take it. I'll see. Are you so cute? It's a floofy baby. Hi, Avery. It is a little flooper. Someone says, Sasuke, how are you? But your name is in white. Abigail. Shireen. Hey, guys. Habri. Well, what happened to my Indian friend? He's not with that fun, funny name, but not funny, with the cool name that I always try to, I always enjoy trying to pronounce. Little baby, baby monkey, you were born here with us. You had a good start. You will be a healthy little monkey for the rest of your life. Yes. That's what I'm wishing for you, little man. Have you guys done this one in the baby's okay? But of course, oh, we never know what genetics are hiding, what bombshell genetics are hiding. Sorry. Uh, Jen, tell me again. Have you guys done this one? No, I'm doing it right now. Which one? These She's are adopted. Doing that one now. These are, uh, this is an adoption, so I don't think these are yours. Okay. Who, who is adopting the little, the, in the blue carrier who owns these piggies? Anyone has the pigs in the yeah. blue carrier? Yeah. They go into the vet? Okay. But you adopted one too? Okay. Sorry, what? Okay. We don't get them for you. Yeah. So, oh, okay. Yeah, but that baby came from us, right? Okay. I was like, we, 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 I know that baby. <laughs> Hi, Ricky. Do you have a cyst? So Ricky is the one who found his little baby friend today. Hi, Ricky. Hi, Ricky. Oh, you have. Uh, so, oh, he has got that thing in his neck, right? Wait, no, that's another pig. Good Lord. You know, it's it's he, he has got a, a thing in his neck, and he's he, he looks like he was done. I know. I saw that carrier, and I was feeling. He was, was done before it. he went to get his. They're really overheating. Can we get a frozen water bottle for them? Someone can we? Guy, we can't frozen water bottle.
Okay, so that is going to be some fun stuff for the dog. If she gets to take that abscess out. You know, when she's here, I actually don't get to do the fun stuff anymore. Did you notice? What? When the dog is here, I don't have to do fun stuff. Well, you're letting her do it because she needs to get lots and lots of practice. See how you can figure out how to open them. It's a sci fi carrier. Are you sure you Those are your carriers. Oh, my little love. So, I was told I mustn't make any more new products. But, but, how about if I make a, a, a modern version of a vintage willow woven. Are you okay? It's okay. Vintage woven cat carrier, like they used to have them, which of course can be used for guinea pigs. Like Willow is probably the better. Okay, buddy, I'm just gonna put you down and I don't want you to run away, okay? You're okay. You're okay. Yeah, it's okay. 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 No, just stay still for me. Stay still for me. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. So, yeah, that's what I was thinking. I would so love that because I'm into like the vintage -y stuff and the bohemian kind of look, and uh, I would love that. Would you? What? Sorry, like, I was so focused on this book. <laughs> like, a, like a vintage, like the old style carriers where they have the cat carriers in. Um, in, in, oh, the wicker baskets. In Willow, yeah. Uh, wicker baskets. Like you can put on the front of your bicycle. Yeah, like Dorothy. I would I just... Problems for you to look at. Nothing in it. Nobody wants to prevent the bench and the front teeth. If anything hasn't been eating, she's been syringe feeding them, but the vet never checked the back teeth. It's the basket on the very end. So, um, probably definitely has teeth problems. Right. He's looking pretty good. He has a little bit of mild fungal feed, I'm just noticing. So I'll give you the sheet on that. It's just an antifungal cream for a couple of weeks and then you should clear it up real quick. It's like it's the time of year and everyone's getting it. So. Yeah, those okay. ones will be good. So, so will be good. I have a yeah. guinea pig to look at. Yeah. His teeth issues that went to the vet. The vet trimmed his front teeth and he's still. Is that the vet for you or I? Um, yeah. Which if they have molar issues, it's actually not a good thing to, to trim the front teeth because then they really are handicapped and can't eat anymore if, if there are molar issues. So we will see him in a minute. Let me just finish up. Alarming. I hear maybe a little bit of mild crackling, but that might just be the leftovers of it. He has no crackling or anything. Like he's not going to be like that. He looks good. Sorry, this is just like no outward signs. quickly, okay? I don't usually do my... Yeah. That's always that's always the best call, yeah. Yeah, no, he looks pretty good. Good. Then that that, that should have cleared it up then. Of course. They were going to, uh, they went over to meet the pigs. This is an adoption project. Uh, they're both females. Uh, yeah, they're both females. You are very pretty. I love this color. Isn't this color gorgeous, guys? This color is like, what is this color? What is this called? Any, uh, do we have any uh, experts on uh, <laughs> any pig coloring? Because... This looks like a tweed 
uh, with something else. What is it? Tell me, guys. Silver agouti. No, yeah, he's not, he's not he, silver enough. He could almost be a lilac like agouti. He's got like a little belly. They lie like a goodie. I don't know. I don't know. I see some. I sense some some red purple. In the he's red. beautiful. It's beautiful. Yes, you are. He loves that. He likes that yeah, chin. Oh, I love piggies who like that. They're okay. so good. <laughs> One of my girls likes it too. Oh, she yeah. like she's like resistant at first, and then she's like, oh wait, that feels good. She like lifts her head all the way up. <laughs> it knows already. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. Uh, does she have guinea pig in that in that carrier, or these two people here? Are they, do you guys have guinea pigs with you? Uh, right there. Oh, okay. Like, okay. Do you have guinea pigs in there? Morning. Morning. Okay. Coming over. Uh, I need some. We don't want any pigs check. sitting out there. Oh, no, wait, I'm coming, I'll come and grab them. It is so hot here, guys. You have no idea. So the heat is killer for guinea pigs. I need to get help. rummaging around is not going to do much. You really want to scoop it. You see a Winky? Winky looks great. Bye, sweetheart. Good to see you. He is so nice. Talking about Dr. Neneker's husband. He really is. He's super nice. And him and Gabe get on along really, really well. Okay. Did I do this already? No. Nope. I'm doing it now. Um, are there any guinea pigs out there? I'm just so terrified with the heat. Yeah. It's cool here, so I want them here. Do you have guinea pigs there, guys? Ladies, do you have a guinea pig in there? No? Okay. Good. Bueno. Bueno, bueno. Okay, so that lady just needs to fill out a liability form. Did she already print one out? Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. So are you guys ready to go? Or do you need to buy any stuff? Okay, then you can have it. I, I don't want to sit in there for a half a second. Frozen water bottle with a suck around it is perfect to keep them nice and cool. Okay. the lips. See that? See, I gotta think all that out in the evening. Because, so that I put my nail polish and my clothes. No, I'm so kidding, guys. I, think I, I definitely I don't do that. Um, Eating so good? 
And the vet said they trimmed only the front teeth? Was it, is, is it Semethicon by any chance? The gas drops? Yeah, 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 it is. Has he... Has, yeah, don't worry about it, sweetie. But that, 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 that can only be Semethicon. Is it... Did he trim the front teeth? They did. I don't really see that there was a trim here. They, so, but he didn't look in the inside of the mouth. He didn't. The vet didn't look at the inside. Um, she said that he doesn't get better than the molar. But she didn't check the molar there. Gosh, I would check the molar. I'm gonna check it now. Jula is the best assistant anyone can have. Yeah. She knows exactly what it is that I need better than I do. I've learned your ways. How do I get this just a wee tighter? Baby girl. Alright, let's get you. Okay, so I'm gonna rinse her mouth out so that I can take a teeth and look at her teeth. But you know, I think she's she not been eating at all? Not all. At all. Frozen water bottle with those pigs that are overheating. Where? In, the garage. in the garage. Yeah, I saw. You want them? I uh, know. Leave, leave them in the garage for me. Whose pigs are those? Some people. Yeah. They brought them in overheated. Yeah. Yeah, they're carrying. Surrender. I felt it. I was worried. Okay. I thought that they are might they, have a the water they, bottle. Are they there. having? Is it wet on the right chair? They're floppy. They're they're panicky. So why is no one telling me that? Urse was the one taking care of them. I need to go check on the had other people from other states come and drive in and adopt us. And Jen will soon be an adoptee from us as well. We're going to be flying full thing out. Yeah, these piggies need an injection.
Which I would ask if that's how they were doing. Yeah, no, they need that injection. That is that is very very important because even if they're looking okay, it's still if their system is already overheated. If and the it's system so hard has to get overheated, it, back it can down. still fry the organs. So that stuff stops down. it and it's tracked. It's like Narcan for for guinea pigs. Pig pig they started eating. Oh, that's really good, but I still like them to have that. Hours. Oh, there's one here. So, uh, I see overgrowth on the on the teeth. In the, do you want me to try and take trim it? Your other option would be to have the doctor do it going to do it exactly the same as I am. But usually under general anesthesia. Well, she can do it under anesthesia, but it looks like I, I can do it just quickly right now because she's not moving too much. It's almost 100 weeks. It's hot out there. Why is this so funky? Did it get stuck? Or is it funky? Yeah. Is this the one I use? Yeah. Feel it. Want me to do it? Yes, thank you. Get some food. Crazy day, hot day, heat stroke day. Dimethyl, I forget the name always. Dexamethasone. We're gonna make it so you can eat again, little girl, little boy. You need to put oil on it, if anything. No. Yeah. I'm just trying to clean it first. Put a little oil on it. I like that Narcon for heat stroke Narcan guinea pigs. Yeah. You say Narcon with an accent. Narcon? How do you say it? I mean, I say it maybe with a very American accent. Narcan. Narcan. Narcon. Narcon. Oh, my sweetness. Oh, no. Man, my spine, is it? I need someone to get me some. Is it better? It looks better. Yeah, it does. We just need to get some W9 or something. We gotta clean it. There's gotta be a way to actually take it apart and clean it. Because it's a ranch, things get dust in every crowd. Let me see. Sorry. <laughs> I, I gotta get this working better. Yeah, this this will be fine. Uh, uh, Brian, are you, when you're done with that, could you do me a huge favor? I wonder if the rust got in the bottom of it. Yeah. Maybe it was wet, put away mm -hmm. wet, and rust got yeah, stuck in there. Yeah, because I'm always cleaning it wet. Yeah, and let's make sure it gets really dry. dried out. Let's let it dry out first. Brian, oh, when you're done that, could you grab a little greens and some carrot, uh, like a little um, selection of greens from the fridge? A selection of veggies. Okay, then let's do it. Okay. Oh, I know, oh, I know. <laughs> I'm sorry, little baby. You got to go fix it, okay?
que eu sei. Faltei aqui. This is a little CBD. To help her calm, stay calm and, and feel relaxed. Natural. That just gave them an injection. Overgrown, but it's the, I mean, it's overgrown everywhere. Yeah, right. So, it's, uh, technically, she should even be able to eat just that little bit of, but she shouldn't because we need to rinse out her mouth again before it starts. So, fun. in Arizona, no, Colorado. I'm gonna be in Colorado this week. This week? Yeah. Make sure you move it around so that you really get everything to come out. Uh, yeah, Colorado this week for a talk. We're gonna rinse out her mouth and then, then give her a little break and then we're gonna come back to it. But I got a bunch off on the one side already. So hoping she'll be able to eat soon. But even if you do it that way, sometimes with teeth, it, she don't, they don't eat right away though. That's the other thing. Sometimes it takes a little while. You have to syringe feed them before they start to eat again. Uh, so it's, it's, it's always a 50-50, you never know. They, I've had pigs, they'll start eating normally from day one, and others take about a few weeks before they start eating normally again. So let's hope she's one of the, you know. Yeah, you got to continue syringe feeding. If, if she's not eating by herself. But right, we're going to have a go at the second side, on the other side now. Okay. I love it. It's 
someone can run and get some correct computers to sue. We have no money, no more no coming up running. Okay, well you do that all She just managed to sneak entirely into it. <laughs> you don't wanna do it. No no no. Wrap you up like a little burrito. I know. I know, it's swaddled. You're swaddled. Hi, Pippa from today. Burrito baby. Not a happy burrito baby, but a burrito baby. Very done with me. Okay, the cookies are soaking. Cookies. No, no, no. You're I, still feeling. I am feeling because it's so important. So if I miss a peak or something, you know. Yeah. So. Oh, honey bun, that was torturous. Oh. So let's give her a break, and I hope she will eat a little bit. But sometimes when they haven't eaten for a while, it's uh, it's not. They they're not gonna eat immediately again. 
but right now but with the tooth that I take took out she should be able to sometimes they're also well she's kind of going for a little bit well she should be able to now but the thing is is that I always recommend people recommend you to go um, yeah she's trying to eat you know just syringe feed her and keep, you know, feeding her the softer food. Hopefully she'll start eating by herself. And then why don't you come back in like two weeks and then to see how, if it's grown back immediately, because that can sometimes happen as well. It grows back real fast. Banana? And the really soft stuff like watermelon, bananas, grapes, you know. You the, the stem of the banana? You can eat the stem of the banana. That's not good, it's just fibrous. 
You can eat the peel of the banana. Okay, well there's a whole thing behind us because the whole system okay. started freaking out. So, um, did I do everything else with her? But yeah, she wants to eat, so I would definitely keep offering her, her food. Oh, I'll do that. Keep offering her food, all the soft foods. And um, here, let me show you what, what teeth I got out. some CBD. CBD. This is kind of the old one. Is this expires? Mm -hmm. oh. It's a it's an oil based. Oh, I'll get this one. Yeah, it's an oil based. Uh, it's, a, it's a hemp cannabinoid that helps with the anxiety and uh, relaxation pain. Yeah, maybe. Oh, Susan, they love the silk. Oh, that's really cute, anyway. Okay, well, I just don't like it in anything. I know. Oh, there we go. A little bit. Look. Oh. And you just need some time to relax and cuddle? I hope think I think by tonight he might you know what this sounds gross but what I did here is I she I, chose she chewed it I pre chewed it she's like a baby mama I bird it, I, I chewed it in my mouth because it's the best way to get in this one <laughs> this emotion baby food consistency 
It's yeah, but it works, so I don't care. Don't oh, do wow. that. Yeah, no, don't no. Just keep it the applesauce for now. The hay. What? The vet probably is thinking they need their hay. Okay, so they're for 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 for, for right one, now. For one, there's no way that this pig can eat hay right now. It'll get stuck. It will get stuck, and he he won't be able to eat anymore at all. So I don't know who this vet is, but. She I think that they were just seeing guinea pigs thinking the guinea pigs need hay. So here. what you want to do, yes, you can do applesauce on sh on flavored, on no Sweet. sugar. Uh, yeah. Yes. No sugar added apple um, And then can you, what kind of syringe food stuff do you have? Listen, why do you want to continue the conversation? I've got all these piggies behind me about syringe feeding with her. Uh, talk to her about that. And then this is his. She, um, Jules is going to take over and talk to you about the syringe feeding, okay, so I can go with, uh, further on there. You don't want to do it? Oh, I can do his nails, but I thought you wanted me to go talk to her. Yeah, but you, well, whatever, it's okay, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. I'll fix her talking. It doesn't matter. You know... This teeth, man. There's always a reason why they get they get teeth issues, and usually uh, the first thing that goes is the hay. And when they stop eating the hay, um, that is when the teeth starts to grow. So this could be caused by. I'm starting to sound like a broken record. Uh, calcified bullet syndrome. Because that makes it so that the um, muscles, the jaw muscles, are just not, they, they become paralyzed, or slightly paralyzed, and they cannot eat the really hard foods anymore. And that, that in turn makes those teeth grow. Because they do need something to kind of, you know, keep them down a little bit. If there's no food and, and not being used, they start to open up. Um, so I almost wouldn't mind doing an x-ray on him, just for my own, you know, just for my own research. Anyway. Thank you. 
Pardon? Cotton. This is yours. Yes. Yeah, but Julia was getting you something, right? No, oh, there's another one there. Oh, he needs a health check. Oh my goodness. That's the brother. That's the brother. The brother. He needs a health check too. Oh my gosh. That's what happens when you don't have enough people. Okay. I'm sorry, mister. That's his bro. Hi, sweetie. You're gorgeous. All right, let's start with it. So yeah, guinea pig presents to the doctor with with um, issues with their teeth, and they don't look at the back. The pig, the pig is not eating, but and they don't look at the back molars. I don't I don't understand that. It's, it's almost malpractice if you think about it. Actually, it is. What do you guys think? So this is. Uh, well, I'm in the video. <laughs> yes, he is. Look at his eye. Look at his eye. Famous, actually. Look at that. Look at that. Hmm. So I'm gonna cut that bottom one down all the way, and the top one I'm gonna clean it up. This is not his first rodeo with me. <laughs> Hi, Belle. Welcome back. I remember you now. Yeah, it should be easy cleanup. You guys would want to see this clean up probably, so I probably need to move you over here so you can see it. See the clean up. Oh, it's just trimming really, because his teeth obviously are something wrong with the teeth. And Okay, mister. Let's have a look. See. I can see you guys can see. So this one just sticking out for no reason. So that one I'm gonna just this is no purpose, this big one here sticking out. So there, boom, done. And then I wanna check because sometimes they get these splinters when they have teeth like this. I don't know how they develop them, but basically the enamel uh, becomes yeah, it kind of disappears and then the tooth just starts to, to grow funny. Uh, it kind of sometimes splits into many different pieces. So I always want to make sure that all the pieces are 
not loose, because if they're loose, then they should be taken out if possible. Otherwise, they can hurt when he bites. Good boy. Sweetie. Good boy. Let me give me give me. I just want to feel this one. Oh, that feels good. That feels good. I got a little splinter here. See that? That's a little splinter. Yeah, he's got a little splinter. And those we want to, you know, is it? Is this green clean? It just looks like it's all... Okay, another splinter. Oh, this is a weird one here. He's got underneath growing like some really kind of weird bone here that oh. is actually uh, kind of sharp. Better. Okay, now this one. Okay, my little love. I know. This means so good. Anybody over at the adoption station able to help me for a second? They're all having fun, they're having a party down there, I swear to God. <laughs> Somebody's coming? Not for me. For me down, down for me. What? I just need to. I just need to. Um, sorry, this one. I need to just take a wee tip off of this, off of this tongue. Uh, tooth. I just want paperwork. Yeah, don't worry, buddy. I got it. No worries. Oh, good, good boy. Where did it go? Oh wait. See, I got this to do, and you're here. I'm. Uh, I need a little help here. Nice. Anybody um, can help? Uh, well, where you are you to do that. How are the adoptions doing? That's fine. I have to check people out and check people in and go get paperwork. Can Brian help with that? Uh, I don't know what Brian is. Uh, okay. So, I hope you guys saw that. Good. And then I guess we'll move back to the, to the old angle. Good lad. Take care of your little bro. 
talk to you about syringe feeding. Yes. What do you have for syringe feeding? Well, I pure uh, parsley or, or You make it yourself yeah. with the I, little I pellets? Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I do it myself. That's good. And then make sure that you are not making it too thin. Because if it's really thin, then you're not really giving him a lot. So make it as oh. thick as you can that it still fits in the syringe. That way you pack more into your syringe. Okay, okay. I, I think you like Yeah, no, and then what, you use a small syringe? I use the six and half. Okay, good, good. And just try and just get as much in as you can. Yeah, it's so hard because you have a small mouth. And then you Well, then maybe take this one, take a little smaller one, and uh, you got to cut. No, I have huh? two. Oh, okay, good. All right, so you can do that too, but there's not a lot of food in here. Right. But this one, I just go and put this in in one go. So I can put, you can put this much in the guinea pig's mouth. Okay. That's this whole thing, okay. this much. Okay. And then you can literally, the whole thing, because okay. it's really not a lot. And then you wait till it's swallowed, and then you put the next. Yeah, I think that five minutes, I let him rest because it's like traumatized. You get 10 days, I've been doing that. Yeah, you don't have to wait that long. Just put it in, put it in, next, next. After every minute and a half, you should be able to put oh, another okay. in, okay? Uh, and how often do I give the Sherwood and the syringe food? The syringe food? The syringe food, yeah. Six, seven, eight times a day. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah, so just constantly be at it okay yeah okay okay so i'm super crazy busy here and okay uh, no breaks no breaks no breaks for me i know no breaks no peace for the wicked wicked this time wicked we have a uh, uh, the, ooh, okay. I think forty-nine ninety-five. It changed. You said forty-five earlier. Oh, I don't know, but they're they're really not cheap to make. They're they're pretty expensive to make and ship. Uh, it was forty-five ninety-five. Forty-five yeah. ninety-five. Yeah. They're ten bucks more than the than the other one. Wipe your nose. Okay, guys, wiping your nosy. I'm all wiping your nosy. Sorry. <laughs> Let me see if we'll come out better for it. Didn't really make a difference. Okay. Um, did I clean? I did need to clean. being sold yet. Okay, so. so people love the big rabbit house that are intended for rabbits for the guinea pigs. And they're actually pretty cool for pigs. It's actually really cool. I added it. Okay. Um, Alright, what do I do? We got pigs going to the bed. Hi, 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 hi. She wants the TIN. 
Tell us again what's going on. He's a couple of things. He has an infected eye, he has a fungal feet, and then he uh, might have molar problems. The vet told me that he might have molar problems. Okay. Infected eye. But he's eating. Okay. And then why did the vet say he has molar problems? She took his coat in there and told me one side was longer and she wanted to have him have a dental process. Okay. Okie dokie. Well, the fronts definitely are messed up. Did you notice? Yeah. Okay. I took so it let, here. Me, let me show the fronts. The fronts of this your piggy are kind of funky looking. You can see that? So let's see what we're going to find. But let's do his proper health check first before I start. Because that always makes me, if I start right away on the, on the teeth, then I forget everything else. Hi buddy, you do have fungus foot. Yeah, you do. He's it, prone to it. This is the second time we've treated him for it. It's unfortunately, it's a chronic thing. So you can just suppress it, it'll come back. Especially when they get to a certain age. It's he's just... Good. He's two and a half. Yeah. But you know, as long as you stay on top of it and it doesn't get to the point where it's like really, like the heels sometimes become really um, crusty with with callus, and, and that can be bad if that turns into an open kind of sore. So just so let you guys see what's going on here. Yeah. All the stuff. And then that's not including everything that's next to Dr. Nan. There's a lot of people there too. Okay little mister. Let's get your business your business down there done. Like, I know, if I say I love you, I love you, I love you, love you enough, maybe they'll like... Maybe they'll accept. <laughs> maybe they'll accept it. But, but I do love you. I do. Yeah, his, his little bin is there. It looks a little uh, odd. The skin here looks like it's not quite normal. The skin down here looks a little uh, different. Not quite... I wouldn't say abnormal, but it's a little, it was dirty, so it, it, it probably needs a good clean so it can go back in the shape it's supposed to, and it's kind of doing it already. Here. There. Magic. Okay. Okay. You want a snack? You got crack cookie. Snack. I thought she's got crack cookies. <laughs> I don't know. I did. They're just they're dry crack cookies. So they just oh. nice and See, I called them potato chips to guinea pigs, but you just call them chips. <laughs> or cookies. Cookies. Oh, great! It's because I have no charger in my in my house. 
dot on. Okay, now let's do this. I I'm gonna rinse this mouth. talking about that that bulla thing right the calcified uh -huh. bulla I think that might be some he might have something like that going on okay. uh, oh we caught it at 1% I'm supposed to give it to him twice. Oh. okay we're back so let me Sorry. see if that's the So sorry everybody. You know, Carly, where were you when when I needed to be reminded about the juicer? <laughs> I probably wasn't watching. You probably told me a hundred times, but I wasn't watching. Right? Am I right? I'm probably right. Okay, so while you were gone, we discovered that this little man has one funky tooth that's literally growing like that. And um, if that's all it is, then that's an easy fix. But I need to look a little deeper into his mouth, and for that, I'm going to need a little um, a little help that I don't have. And there's so many people waiting for service, and I. Brian, can you hold this guinea pig, please, for me, while I look in his mouth? Okay, so the way you do that, it's oh, a very one. specialized way where you hold him, like if your hands go all the way down, you want to make sure you don't move his face too much. It's like a guinea pig burrito. Yes. I need to go and look in that mouth to see. Oh no, I can't do this. 
I can give you snack. We're going to look at your teeth. Believe it or not, he's our well-behaved pig. He's cute and I love him. Yes, I told you that ten times earlier. But I love you, I love you. Okay. <laughs> what did you do to him? <laughs> now, if that... I can... If there's nothing else going on, it's just that little tooth that's kind of, you know, doing, going over. I can trim it, but the problem is often is that that, that will grow back. Okay. So you'd have to keep an eye on it and then come back and have it trimmed again. Can you give him CD? No, it's just good to chill.
his favorite food? He likes uh, parsley and bell Okay, so you got to come back. Is this going to come back? How often? Uh, I'd say within every three weeks. Just come in three weeks, make an appointment. Okay. want to see you how long it can go without. We did about two hours away. <laughs> oh, no. So, yeah, that is going to be difficult. Well, listen, come three weeks because if he can, then I can probably tell if he can wait four. Because okay. he did so well. We'll see with how it. he is after the initial first three weeks, okay. and then go from play from here from there. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. It's awesome yeah, that you guys no. are dedicated enough to drive out for him. It, it, it was getting <laughs> to the point. It was getting to the point that he wasn't going to be able to eat. Okay. So the vet was definitely right. He needed a procedure, yeah. but that we just did it. Okay. Thank you. So that was good, because otherwise that, he, they would have put him under and all kinds of stuff. I'm just loving the conscious trimming. Yeah, if you don't need the risk of general anesthesia, you shouldn't really bother with it. It was going to be really expensive. Small yeah. animals. It's yes. so expensive. And it's, and it's, like, it's terrible It's the general for anesthesia them. that okay, costs the money. Yeah. Yeah. Where are you going? You want some parsley? Up and then we're moving on. Is this look? There's two people waiting here. They'll be waiting here for a while. Was he waiting here? And yeah, that's it. Okay. Just because I do all these two things that take time, and I feel bad because all these people are waiting to, you know, be seen, and then I'm spending all this time doing on one guinea pig. But then again, they will also realize that if their guinea pig needs time like that then he's then they're gonna get it okay give this back to the bed in fact in fact whoa wait a second i don't think i can move you guys now no, you can't move. i can't move okay because the vet said the vet was happy to have you guys over there but can you explain to her we can't and give this back to her because we don't have enough juice to move the what Explain it. We can't bring the camera there because oh. we don't have enough juice to move it. Top of the screen to focus. Tap at the screen to focus. Okay. Jess, general anesthesia can be and scary for a few minutes. This is next, right? Is, we're next? Is it, am, am I in the right? You first? I'm sorry? Your appointment's at 3, but who was it first? You don't know? I'll be quick. If, it's, if there's nothing going on, it'll be quick. <laughs> it's the ones that have stuff that I need to spend the time. Hi, you! How old are you? How old is this little one? How long? Two years. So something going on. <laughs> so you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna leave this one for for let me do her pick first. Because I'm think I need to spend a little more time with you guys, okay? Me for sure has something going on too. Your pig has something going on too? Okay, well maybe that'll be faster. I don't know. Let's see. Healthy looking pig. The 
Did you make an appointment with the doctor? I made a, a, an appointment, but I don't know what I made it under. But I did make an appointment for it. And you don't know what you made it for? You don't know what you made it for? This? I just thought it like an opening, so I took it, and I was standing right here when I did it. That, that is kind of odd that they didn't tell you what, what's wrong, that they think they sh you should. That was Claire who did. Did, did we hear for a bath? I brought him in for a health check and bath. Yeah, so that's Claire. It's kind of odd that she, she didn't tell you. He's not eating. Oh, okay. Not eating, not drinking. Did they check his... Okay, his teeth are really messed up. Let's, uh, okay, let's have a look. that I just trimmed the one before as your pig. So it's okay my little love. Do we have any C B D here? I gave it away. Exactly the same front teeth as the guinea pig before that I had to do the, the kind of major trim on. Um, I'm really gonna see the thing is I don't want them thinking they can move backwards, so I'm just gonna like put stuff behind his butt so he thinks he can't back, move backwards. Biting me. Come on, sweetie, bite. Bite up. Ooh, that's a little more bite on this side. But it's super. 
super, super not very strong. The teeth look okay, but his bite is very, very uh, weak. So usually when I stick my thumb in, it, or my, my thumb, my pinky, I started using that as a measure of what the bite is. So if the muscles in the mouth and the jaw are working correctly, and I figure the, the only way to figure it out would be just to stick my finger in it, right? Because they will naturally bite down on it. They're not gonna think, ooh, it's Saskia's finger, I'm not gonna bite, they're gonna bite. Um, so he doesn't have at all a bite. It's like very, very weak which would indicate that there might be something going on with the muscles, which in turn could be because he might have some facial paralysis of some sort that's making him not eat. Um, I'm gonna refer this to the doctor and see what she's gonna say. And she's probably, she might wanna do an x-ray of his head, okay? It's a she, right? It's a she? The girl? He's a boy. Eat a boy, and then. Um, and you said uh, Ben needs to know who she's seen from us. Yeah. Okay. Uh, cutie pie, eyes. the one that came from Monday. Remember the cutie pie, the, the one with the abscess on her head. Remember that. You, yeah, but she's healing good. Okay, but I don't know. It said that she needed to see the back. Uh, because no. of the antibiotics, but oh. that's okay. okay. That's um, all right. Do you want her to X-ray any of the neuter nails? Well, there's Mill House. Maybe she's oh, got Mill something House. from Mill House yeah. she can offer. Okay. Ask her if there's anything else she could offer in this case. Because that we don't already do and have. You know what I mean? Uh, that's that little boy I showed on my walkthrough. Okay, my little love. So, but he's still at a good weight. When did this start? Sunday. Sunday. Have you been syringe feeding him? Poor guy. Hi, baby. Has he ever in his youth had uh, upper respiratory issues? He's had him for like two and a half years. He's had no issues and then people before his had for two years. And the only issue they ever had was his teeth broke. And so she had to like syringe feed him. But that's all that I know. We've never had a problem with Okay. Okay, so let me go bring him over to the doctor and talk to the doctor, okay? And then I'm gonna just have you guys, I don't know, say hi to all the lovely folks here. You're a piggy. I'm sorry, I didn't realize this one was going to be long too. You want a veggie grill too?
You know what? I'm actually not going to, maybe, but a few things. I'm actually going to be away for a few days this week. So, but yes, yes, actually, yes, yes. Okay, got my bow, ready to go. Alright, this piggy, I uh, felt that he had, oh! Something happened. She's older, right? About a year or so? Syringe feeder, like meaning, like you make a little mesh and you give it to her in a in a syringe. You do what? Oh. Sorry, sorry. This thing was like the bestest thing, and now it's like the not so bestest thing. Wait up. Because we are moving it constantly. It's back and forth to me, down to the table. And then that's what you get. <laughs> okay. Now, let's so hope I can bring it down so we can all see a little piglet. Yes. Okay. Not eating. No, not interested. You seem interested, but you don't want it. Okay. So what I noticed right away is that there's a lot of poop stuck on the sides. Okay, sweetie. Like here underneath. Did you did you notice that? Like she has some kind of diarrhea. Yeah. No. Did you notice it? Here, let me show you.
her mouth because she, I mean, and how old is she supposed to be? How long have you had her? Two years. Two years? And you didn't know how old she was then? Was she bigger or smaller than this? That size. So was that size? Was she this skinny too? She was normal looking? She was, she's, she gotten skinnier. Yeah, okay. that may have developed into pneumonia. And that would be for the doctor to kind of listen to her lungs and, and prescribe some medication for her because she's, she's pretty sick. She's, she's really sick, that I can tell you.
You should see me struggle with this thing. Hysterical. I cannot do this anymore without help. So I need help before I first. I put the label don't hang me on there. Seriously. Parties happening over there. We can spend five minutes alone with the guinea pigs there without thing. What party are you talking about? The party I'm hearing over there and here the bottles are opening and stuff. You like guys having parties over there, right? Don't you hear it? Yeah, I will. wrong when when she's like this it's it's almost like you want to do a bunch of diagnostics to figure out what's going on right but she's she is sick she something is not right I looked in her mouth and um, her mouth is so small so it's kind of hard to even look but it did seem like some of her teeth were a little bit of overgrown nothing crazy crazy but um, if the doctor has time, I would really like for you to go and have a visit with, with the doctor, okay? If you want to talk to Jennifer, her assistant, about, about how much it costs, because it's not that much. It's not like a normal doctor, all right? When you go to the vet and it costs you a thousand bucks walking through the door, it's not like that. Okay. All right. So I will go and that right now and see if they can take on this last patient. Is this little girl? It's not.
not good, Missy. I know. And and she hasn't really eaten, you said, huh? Would you like banana? Banana. She loves bananas. Yeah, I see that. I'm crazy on that banana. So, so she's not eating the hay, anything else, but she's eating banana and all the softer stuff. Yeah, the soft stuff. Yeah, watermelon. when they go untreated, they can also drain and, and disappear. Okay, I'm gonna give you that banana, Missy, that's yours. So, when they are like this, when they're like this, you wanna give them everything that they wanna eat. Whatever it is they wanna eat, you wanna give it to them. So if she wants carrot cake all day long, then give her carrot cake. It's a joke, of course, but you know. Um, if she wants to eat apples all day, whatever it is that makes her eat, give it to her. Because that is the big problem. If when they stop eating and there's nothing they want to eat anymore, then, then, then we have a big issue. So let me walk her over to the doctor and see what the doctor says, okay? Yeah, when, when we get super busy, um, the uh, yeah. you know tempers can can kind of fly high a little bit sometimes. But you know, it's, he's been doing all this live. It's not like he <laughs> scripted, not been scripted. So uh, and and often we're just like we're all good friends and we're huh? You know that girl, the one that's sick and done eating. Oh, she's at the vet right now. You can take up a piece and give it and put it in the cage. So, the XL rabbit cage is being selling like crazy. Let me, I'll, I'll walk you to one, okay? People are buying these today instead of the space house. I couldn't believe it. I'm like, do you have a bunny? No, guinea pigs. Because they just love it. Look. It's huge. And this is, is the younger, the, the Space House version. You gonna order? Yeah, I'm gonna order. So, I don't know, what do you think? 
and it looks just as cool in the cage. It just can have more pigs in it. <laughs> and it's got higher because it gives bunnies need more space, right? When they stand up. Uh, okay, I'm gonna take this in over there. So maybe someone is feeding in the garage. While I go, I think take a self, uh, self. A well deserved break. What do you think, Brian? Oh, yeah. Well-deserved little break. Well, probably Valerie never had a break. Did you have a break yet, Valerie? No. See, I knew it. <laughs> this woman is like unbelievable. At the end of the day, I'm like, I'm so dead. And she's sitting out there cleaning stuff and like doing things. And it's like, how do you do it? Whatever it is that, that you're having for breakfast, I want some. Unless it's bacon. <laughs> and I don't want it. And I don't want it. You got me. You're here. Okay. Carly, look. Carly, you should go back in. Please. Look. You should go back in. Here. And then we're gonna have some fun in here. Oh, Mill House! Is that Mill Housey? Yeah. Um, I don't have a. I, I have no juice. So, can you, can you maybe put uh, it here? Can you put on watch? And explain a little bit about Mill House and his story, which is uh -huh. very tragic. I actually don't know much about Mill House. A uh, pet store. Um, and he's got an ammonia. But I wouldn't mind, actually, I would love for the doctor to listen to his lungs yeah. to confirm my suspicion. Um, and it's really hard to syringe feed them if they don't want to eat. But they have to eat. They gotta, gotta eat. Good boy. And Catherine has, like, become the uh, expert on syringe feeding. So why don't you give us all a lesson in syringe feeding? Sure. And force so. feeding, sometimes force feeding sounds bad gotta be yeah. done and that's what she's doing right now once you start feeding them if they haven't been eating on their own even if you have to force them to eat up first a lot of times that perks up their appetite and then they will start eating uh, you know by themselves so if you're trying to feed your pig and they just turn their head away they're like no a lot of times we'll grab their top mandible which is the top of their jaw here that way you can just pop it in their little mouth. Boom. With bigger guinea pigs, if you're using a one milliliter syringe, you can usually shoot the whole thing in there in one go. But uh, with these little guys, I like to do, you know, 0.5 and then 0.5, just so they have a chance to, you know, swallow it themselves. These guys uh, don't have a gag reflex, so you need to be careful about them aspirating their food. If they breathe in any food particles, it can really, uh, you know, hurt them, make them sick. Come here, buddy. But yeah, the first few syringes, he was really into it. He really wanted some food. You can tell he's hungry. Um, but you know, we like to feed them at least five milliliters, if not, if we can do 10. Like I said though, this guy is small, so we don't force feed them too much. going to do one more syringe and then we'll call it a day. He's already had about, I'd say five now after this one. I know, I'm sorry. And he's done. 
So yeah, when I talk about grabbing their top mandible, it's going to be on either side of their little jaw here. And that controls their head so that, you know, you can get the syringe in their mouth. Um, I like to put it not all the way to the back of their throat, but also not too close up front because sometimes they just spit it right out. So you want to go a little further in, but like I said, try not to go all the way to the back of their throat for the same reasons. You don't want them to aspirate any of the food. Okay guys, Millhouse is going away until, you know, Dr. Nen has a chance to check him out. Padre because I have the phone plugged in and we're dying so I can't do a walk around. Um, I could aim it in this direction. You can kind of see the Buddha cage and you can see so right here that's our, our female sanctuary cage. That one up there that's Autumn. She's, she's a feisty one. Um, and here is Ranchi Moo Moo and right in here that's Gucci right there that's Brian's booth he's here for a health check and then here is Casanova you guys know him and you'll see Melody is walking I think she's somewhere over here Melody she's right there she's adorable um who else I added a, a new Buddha pig to uh, yesterday. His name is Kanga. He's a neutered boy. He's so sweet. I added him in here. Um, he's adorable. But you know what? Tommaso has been totally bullying him. But he's in here somewhere. Oh, do you see Tommaso back here? He's chasing. This. So this is a new boy. That's Kanga. He's a neutered male. Super sweet. But Tommaso like chases him all the time. Tommaso is bullying Kanga. He's like literally trying to like pump him. So all of a sudden, he has legs. Well, I mean, he had legs, but I mean, he uh, was kind of like paralyzed almost, but like he's been revived and he's been like sniffing the female sanctuary cages. So he likes to hang out behind the, the guinea pig sign. So he's like sniffing. Um, oh yeah, he could totally chase. Um, but Catherine is just wrapping up by uh, feeding, and then Jules is here. She might be able to answer questions, but we can't move the camera because we're charging. We're only at 10%. So I was just kind of like showing them kind of what's going on by like pointing at that like this. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, we can't move the camera right now, so we got to charge. So you guys can just kind of watch Tommaso chase for Tango around. Be a bully. Be a bully, yeah, right? Like, look at poor Kanga. Like the most, <laughs> the most handicapped bully. <laughs> right. It's like he tries so hard to be mean, but he's yeah. just so sick. I know. Yeah, Tommaso is being a butt. He's 
Go ahead. Sometimes. Let me go see where my um, what my last adoption of the day is doing, and then um, yeah. I'll come hang out. I was gonna do stones in the back. I was doing stone listings. Oh, I'm Michael. You're so sweet. Hello. You guys should have seen Tomasa yesterday. Yeah, basically. He was being such a bully to Kanga. Yes, Ginger. <laughs> I needed something cool and sparkly. Ah. Squishette is doing amazing. She peed on me yesterday. Such a good girl. I bought... <laughs> so I bought um, a ton of... Not a ton of, but I... I spent more than I should have on um, this person. I don't know if you guys know this Etsy shop, Guinea Pig Adventures, but I discovered it and <laughs> they knit, uh, they're in the Netherlands and they knit like little beanies and party hats and stuff. <laughs> and so I got like someone surrendered like a little guinea pig sized tent and I had to take it. I'm gonna watch it and then I want to do like a little beanie campfire <laughs> fall time photo with the guinea pigs because I'm always like determined to take cute pictures of them and stuff. I've like collected um, different costumes here and stuff like that. Like I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna have a photo shoot with the things. But it's called Guinea Pig Adventures and if you have it, they shipped really fast. It was cheap shipping from the Netherlands. It's just a little envelope and they send it and it's really light. And you can pick the colors and I'm totally giving them a free shout out. Like they're an awesome, cute, cute shop. I mean, you have to have good guinea pigs though, because Squishette was just like, they don't they don't have clips or anything, because they're not going to like pin them to the pigs, so they have, their pigs are just very good models. <laughs> I have to be very patient, and Squishette was not having any of it, <laughs> and then she just peed on me. So I was like, oh, okay, good girl, and I gave her some love, and then, <laughs> then I put her back, because she was like, I have to go to the bathroom, mom. That would be so cute. I That's a great idea. I need to do that, you know? My step-grandmother uh, always loved, she would always make uh, these fancy calendars because they traveled all over the world. And she was like a photographer and she would take all these awesome photos and make calendars. I could get and took a note out of her book. That would be really fun. <laughs> yeah, Michael. I got peed on again today. Do you know what that's is? She might be. Uh -huh. Oh, hi! You know, let me go see where she is. She loves me from outside. Enjoy the Buddha boys for a second. Sydney! I'm gonna eat your booty! <laughs> Alright, let me go see
starters, you know, she does like horses and stuff and big really animals, so, um, yeah, she's going to do them like later, which is super cool, so we can get to see them, super cool, really, really cool, but we will not be showing you guys any of them, though. <laughs> That's not YouTube it's, friendly. It's not, it's not fun. I, I, it's I science, but it's not YouTube and, and, and I taped it for us. That's not never gonna be, uh, you know, posted anywhere. I tell you that. That's not gonna be posted anywhere. Um, did you want to do your things now? Okay. Yeah. I, I picked out like super duper cool um, little stones, and I thought maybe some of you would like to buy some stones for the piggies. So. Really pretty, and of course we always, even though after, and we had a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful raffle. It was so good. Guinea pig rentals. I don't know if that's a good idea. I wouldn't want to rent out my guinea pigs. I don't know. What if they don't take care of them? But I have kind of heard of it. But I think it's Switzerland and not Germany. Because they only oh, supposed to have so one. <laughs> now this, 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 this. I saw that. I haven't seen that size with them. Uh, and that one's such a pretty color. Yeah. That's polychrome. It's a polychrome. It is so 
super duper pretty. This is a polychrome. It's a polychrome ocean jasper. No, polychrome jasper. Okay, sorry. It's, it's on the western coast of Madagascar. The mines are for polychrome and <laughs> and the uh, the ocean jasper is mined on a different part of the coastline. And then, oh my God, Julia is the best at this, so I'm gonna let her do it. So these, everybody needs these. You need these seriously. These are amazing. And there's only a few, so I'm just gonna show you and. I guess we'll just do some bidding or something. And then what we do is maybe, you know what you can do? Oh, and then just say, make the payment too with, um, let's do it that way. To our PayPal address, hey? Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm missing. Uh, make the payment to contact the Allegheny Pig Rescue and then you make sure your address is correct. And then we can send it. Hey, it's oh, gonna be an auction. So it, it's it's whatever price you are willing to, you wanna donate. In and order in, to get an international, you can't destroy these things. Oh, I can just hit my, I, I can, you know, no. It's going to destroy my head. <laughs> yeah, it, hurt, it would hurt them more than it would um, hurt them. They're very International dense. is like uh, thir 30, no matter where in the world. $13 to ship it. So, I leave this to you, the lovely. Julia is very good at it and she's very knowledgeable about the stones. It's another thing. She's a geology major. So no, I'm not a geology major, but I'm taking geology and I've always liked geology. That's the same thing. So <laughs> she's gonna tell you all about it. And I'm gonna if it hurt the finish, house, you I'm gonna walking. finish my 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 little thinky, I found it. <laughs> and then I'll be back. Okay. I'm gonna watch you all watch it. She's always fine. Okay, but yes, I don't even know if you can see. Let me. I want you guys to see it in the light because these ones really come alive in the light and they're really gorgeous. I was actually, <laughs> I was taking a break and I was in the back and I was um, going through and staring at all of our uh, sardonyx palm stones that we have. So if you guys don't know, this is sardonyx agate, which is sardonyx is like sardian onyx or red onyx, and so that's the red color that you see naturally occurring in it. And the black is also the part of the onyx coloring too. But this is also, it's like a morphed kind of agate. So the banding that you see is all like the silk agate and it's specifically Madagascar silk agate. And it's all natural and it like forms naturally and nature is freaking cool because it does stuff like that. And if you see it, look at it really closely, it's even better. But let me see if you can see, yes. Can you see it in the sun? This one has pink in it too, which I adore. I'll play hockey. It's such an easy one. But so Sauce likes to do these just to raise a little bit of extra funds for the guinea pigs. So anyone that wants to donate and get a little something out of it, be a multi talented person. <laughs> I just love, I'm actually like fascinated by geology because I like it, I think of it as like learning the Earth's language, which is really cool to be able to look around at a landscape and be like, oh, I know what happened here like a few million years ago. But this stuff is so cool and I kind of feel bad because Madagascar has such beautiful stones that we're just mining the heck out of it. Aw, Brigitte, you're very sweet. Polychrome is super gorgeous and it's very. These colors are very rare in polychrome too. It's almost like. I don't even know how to describe that kind of warm, almost like there's a green to it, but it's a like yellow, beige. It's really pretty.
Yes, the food bucket. <laughs> Doesn't it? That part right there is gorgeous. Yeah. The polychrome's really pretty, and this one has like pinks in it, which is just really gorgeous. It has like the eye. Lisa, you can bid 40. I would love that. That's not too low at all. That's a really awesome bid. Thank you, sweetie. That's really sweet of you. Lisa might get it at 40. Any other bids? Yeah, Brigitte. Oh, Marie, you go around. That's so cute. Saskia showed me those that she was giving them to people. And I was like, but don't they want more like small crystals or something like that? And she was like, I'm giving the bears. <laughs> I love that you loved it. They're adorable. I love them. You really, he might have been a Madagascar. My, anthro um, my uh, anthropology teacher studied uh, and lived in a tent in Madagascar for a year, studying bloomers, <laughs> which is, I thought was so cool. That's so cool. He had lived a really interesting life then. Yeah. <laughs> you see the bears? Yeah. There's, okay, so there's four small ones, so I'll show you all of them. There's this one that has that like pinky tone in it. That's really pretty. This one's one of the lighter ones and it has all of this banding. And then we have another similar, the some more similarly colored one would be this one, which has some more smooth kind of banding. It kind of goes just really smoothly around. I love that. That is working. And then there's some like the thing about like agate is like since it's kind of translucent, it literally there's literally like depth to it. Like it's 3D. It's like three-dimensional bands, but like you can see the three-dimensional like nature of it when you look at it up close. Like these ones in here are like kind of cemented down in the layer. And you can barely see them in this camera, but it's so cool. And then we have a couple of darker ones. Like we have one that's more like very natural with the natural kind of beige over it. And then it's got a lot of crystalline quartz forming in there that's helping form all of that coloring. And it's got some gorgeous banding that's like that. It's almost like a bumblebee jasper kind of banding. And with this brilliant bright spot. And then we have the dark one, which is like really mesmerizing with all the dark banding. It's so cool how it forms. And then we got the polychrome jackets here. Looks like salmon. <laughs> yeah, it looks like, I mean, it's so cool. Nature like replicates itself in so many different ways. Mm-hmm. Oh, Julie. Welcome. So, any takers to donate? And get you'll get a little stand too, by the way. I forgot to show you the little stand.
The third one? Okay. Oh, is this one? Lisa. Arthur's seat. Why do I? Why does that sound so familiar? Oh, Flicky Chicky, thank you so much. This one, right? It's really smooth, gorgeous waves of bands. A volcano in Edinburgh. Maybe I've looked. Maybe I've like watched something on it or something like that. Because it sounds like it would make it. Okay, flicky chicky is this one. This is this one. Yes, Julie, you're good. We're just doing a quick little auction while Saskia takes a quick break and has a drink. Uh, she was probably hot and tired, but <laughs> being outside for so long. So to get her off the feet for a second while we do a quick auction to raise a little bit of funds for the game fix. With some of the stones that Sauce Hand picked out for you guys. So I got 30 on this one and I got 40 on this one. I think I'm going to Yeah. I need to I need to drink some water. <laughs> they do look like large marbles because they kind of are. They're just large spheres, but they're like the most gorgeous natural marbles you can find. So Lisa, this is gonna go to Lisa for 30. And this one is going to go to Flip Chicky for 40. Thank you, you guys. We really appreciate it. And you guys will both get them with the little stands, too. So, like Saskia said, we will have you guys pay through the PayPal. Uh, it was contact at LAGuineaPigRescue.com. And... Uh, sorry, I was flying fast. But go ahead and pay it through the PayPal and we will send them over to the address that you specify in the PayPal. I am tired. <laughs> I drank all my coffee up already. <laughs> I did not get any more bits on the big one, no. So you are still holding it at 40. What's that? Right home? Yeah. They do. They remind every, uh, all of these stones just remind me of the universe. It's really cool. I love the pink polygram. Oh, you have a telescope. I'm so jealous. I love Stargate. Iron Brew. I thought so. I thought it was going to be Iron Brew, but I didn't want to, I didn't want to make a fool out of myself. <laughs> Cheers, Julie. I would love to be joining you for that. That's fun. Marbles are a classic. Did anyone ever play the old uh, pickup jack? Or uh, what was it? What was the game with the marbles and the, and the little jacks below them? I'm trying to remember. That was a classic game. It's well tasty. I'm drinking cold brew right now. So I am drinking a brew, but it's cold brew. 
I wish that they could give me a venti nitro cold brew because that has the most caffeine. Is there mod? Thank you. Someone else knows what I'm talking about. J54. This one? Soda? Really? I dropped them on my foot already. Don't worry. It happens. <laughs> Okay, Jay, thank you for the large one. Thank you, Jay, for that. Jax was playing with a rubber ball, maybe, yeah. I think I had, like, I had this old, I think it was from my grandparents, I had this old wooden box that had a bunch of traditional games in it, and, like, pickup sticks and a bunch of other stuff, and it had marbles in it, and then it also think I had, I think it also had the, the rubber ball with the jacks, and that's probably why I connected them in my head. This one's special. I hadn't seen this one before. She pulled this out special for you guys. That's exactly what I'm drinking. I'm drinking the, the, the pumpkin culture. The pumpkin foam on top is so good though. And I'm not even a huge pumpkin fan, but Starbucks won me over with their pumpkin friends. I'm holding up Brock's Vicky because we're doing a quick auction for the guinea pigs to raise a little bit of funds. Saskia picked out some uh, hand-picked stones for you guys to bid on. So we also have a couple beautiful little natural sardonyx, like banded silk agate from Madagascar stones that are still available. And it's just an auction, so bid whatever that you feel um, they're worth to you. And this one is currently at $50, thanks to Jay. The PayPal address that the mods can put it in again for them as well is contact at laguineapigrescue.com. There is not Tai Chan. Is it from, is it from, um, who is it? Who, who did it? Because there's certain people that I love that do like talking over the images. A pumpkin pie blizzard. That sounds really good. Cool. You know, I never lived close to a Dairy Queen growing up. There was none really on the west side of LA growing up. So I never really got to have Dairy Queen much, but like I crave it just because of how much other people crave it. So I don't even know if I've ever had Dairy Queen. I want to try it though, because I love the chicks. Anime, she's doing pretty well. She's doing a lot, she's a lot more lively again and stuff like that, she looks pretty good. Dr. Nen and I were nerding out about how cool it was that they did a femur on surgery on such a small femur. Aw, Vicky, thank you so much, love. That's so sweet of you. Dang, the fingers. We'll see anime in a sec. I'll make sure to show you guys her. Yeah, that was awesome, Vicky. Do it! <laughs> so, I think I'm going to close this one out. To love the Jay at 50. Thank you, Jay. So again, PayPal, um, and make sure to have the right address that you want it to ship to as your address, and contact at elegantypigrescue.com. Thank you. We really appreciate it. It will be coming to you shortly. With stand included. It looks like a crystal ball. I think the stand is so cool. It looks like a crystal ball. Thank you. 
So, I think that we can go see anime now. Flies. Stop dive bombing me. Uh, we can see anime now for a little bit, and we can come back to this if we want. But we want to see some guinea pigs in my face. Sauce is inside. She's doing okay. She's just getting off her feet for a second. Who's taking on this You think, Michael? You think we'd still love that? I think that the calendar is a great idea. And I think my guinea pigs to star as uh, camping for the fall season. I'm doing well, animal lovers. How are you? Let's see. It's not charging like at all because the YouTube drains the phone so fast. I don't know if the phone is super new with, with the battery. A local chipmunk, that's so cute. But I'll bring anime. I can bring up. Uh, I can bring you over to her for a second, then we'll plug you back in, okay? I don't want to disturb her too much, that's why. Oh, I wish Pedro would have been in the calendar too. I'm sure uh, hers has some cute issues in it. They walk around with floor time. That's so cute. I love floor time. It's part of the fan. It's really loud right here. But here is our little anime. Look at her hopping around. Like you ain't never got a broken leg at all. Yeah, because she's still got the pins in. The pins are going to have to be in for a little while, you know, as the phone sets. So. Animal lovers, what happened? Oh, I'm so sorry for your lost animal lovers. That's so hard. I've been there before, and that is, that is really painful. I'm really sorry. We're all here for you. Heal, baby, heal, yeah. I know. We just have to accept that we weren't going to change things, so. You know, it's not a process. It's not really getting over it. It's just time, like, eases the, the sting of things I found with uh, friends that I've lost. So it's kind of a time, like, Grief isn't like something that ever leaves your heart because you don't forget about people and you still love them. But and you're I'm able May. to you're able to put some distance between it. We still owe like over a thousand dollars on this pig. <laughs> oh god. I know I said the sorry for the fan. Huh? I was telling them sorry for the fan. Yeah, it just turned down a bit. Did you sell them? We sold three of them. That's I right. wanted to take a break because people wanted to see guinea pigs. Oh. This is a guinea pig live after well, all. you got to be quick when you do that. You sell them like no one wanted, No one wanted to buy them the other two right now. Nobody wanted to buy the two of them right now. So we're just not going to enforce it. Oh, uh, okay. I'm going to take it. I know. Well, you know, I, I totally Hi, get it. Me. I get it because, you know, stones are not guinea pigs. <laughs> yeah. Not everyone on the guinea pig channel is going to want some. <laughs> No, I know, but it's so well, we got some it poor, we got some poor love, lovely it's supporters so that really do. Hi, darling. <laughs> it's Mr. Veggie. Mr. Veggie's here. Where do you live? I'm in NoHo right now. Oh, total NoHo guy. And he comes all the way, catching rides and stuff. It's, it's just so it. sweet. Right? Busing it. Busing it. Busing it. Busing it. You know. Well, it's... then you got the bus line right there. So you can get that. And I do that on the way back. The bus books it. And <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, it really helped you, right? I already think that I discussed this. He was kind of in a funk and coming to help him. It helps all of us. Yeah. It helps everybody. Sorry, Sasa came in late. And what, what, I'll plug it back in, please. Carely, what? Simply Dave. Dave. Why'd you come in late, man? Sorry, I'm still here. 
the canvas bags with oh my god at Etsy right they're amazing and I love the colors and they're like one of the better selling things when you make you can put your own design and you that's know, one of the things I got to tag and it's a really good um, it's a really good design how many juices that we have because I want to walk much. away not much seriously not much at all because the YouTube drains it your phone battery is probably no, getting a little old I'm supposed to have a your fast phone battery is probably getting a little old and it might not be taken the charge as well so while how, you're how using many, how much do I have because I want to walk out of here I'm gonna get she, she's feeling pent up <laughs> that's how much you have very little that's the, the corner thing. I told you it's not it's not taking a charge very fast with the YouTube live going. So maybe it's time to upgrade the Zephon. How long have you had that one? Maybe it's time Two to charge. Years. Two years is when you can turn it in for a new one. But that's like nothing. I know, but these phones are like built to not last that long. They want you to get a newer one. <laughs> Alright, let's talk guinea pigs, guys. Let's talk about guinea pigs. Guinea pigs! It was a crazy day today, and oh, and, sold, and, the, the and the and the vet's gonna do one. two necropsies, and I, I really want to film them. So let me know before she starts because I really, really, really want to film them because I learn a lot from them, especially with our specialist that's here, and you guys are not gonna see any of it. It's too gory. You don't want to see that unless you want to go into the medical field or something. Um, it's not for the, uh, it's, it's not for, oh, there it is, got a little thing that I need to look at. Um, yeah, for the faint of heart, let's put it that way. It's not. So, okay, this week, what happened? This week we had a, well, I did a walkthrough. It was on Thursday, Wednesday, um, where I just, you know, it was a little quiet, so I was able just to walk around and show some of the pigs. And of course, uh, you know, when I took a little break from filming, someone just dropped a box with a pregnant female and a boy. And Ursula just says, okay, give me one second, because she had to check, because we're so full for boys. But, you know, we would take the female. Um, and, um, so as she said, just 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 hold on a second, I'll be right back. And she takes the guinea pigs inside. She walks over out inside to talk to me about it. And she walks outside and before she knows it, these people are flooring it down the road. So dumped them. Yeah. Crazy, huh? How that happens. It's just so sad. So sad. Honestly, it makes me wonder why, 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 why bother? Why bother? This, people are not thinking about getting guinea pigs. They're just this disposable, cute little thing that is not seen as having its own needs and its own very specific, you know, care instructions and, you know, they're just little beings and they have rights. And, and right now we are having a lot of returns from our own pigs. We, we have always have returns, that's normal. Um, but I feel like it is a little more than usual. And then not only that, but there are all those people that went to uh, Petco and PetSmart and got guinea pigs there. And of course they have no place where to, where to bring them. Because we always say we take our guinea pigs back that's our guarantee but you don't get that at Pecco so I feel that we're getting a lot of those Pecco pigs that are being well, at least that those two are very suspect that they were probably a boy and a girl from one of the stores but um, yeah it's the same you know when when COVID came it was this massive massive I, I couldn't believe it because it was like Okay, COVID, we're closing everything down and we're not, you know, no adoptions, nothing. We're just like, we're just going to put everything on hold. And I could not believe the amount of adoption applications that came in. It was like blown away, blown away. We couldn't even keep up. That's when we started doing 
uh, adoptions at the gate. Like we pick them for you, you can adopt, but we pick them for you. So we made sure we gave them uh, nice cares to go along. Um, so they couldn't come on the property and see the animals because it was way in the early days. And, um, and we, you know, at least that they got the right cage and we got to tell them about the right food and stuff. And, you know, and now it's, um, we don't want them anymore. You know, the one that, that, that really gets me is, um, my daughter's going to college now, or high school, and uh, she doesn't have time anymore with her homework, and she's going to do robotics or whatever, blah, blah, blah. Um, no, you know, I'm, I'm always very tolerant about why people give up the animals, and there's always a good reason, and there is, I mean, you know, your child's going to do something else, and that's a good reason, but it's not a well thought out uh, decision to, to bring them in your life in the first place, right? If you knew that you're, I mean, it's the same with a friend of mine who actually came to look at one of our horses. Um, good friend, um, his daughter was into horses and she was all 15 and she wanted a horse for her because she was starting to do little shows and stuff and i asked him when is she going to go to college well probably when the age of 18 i said well this horse you're looking at is six years old so or seven so by the time that she is ready to go to college is he coming with her and the answer is usually no because there's not many colleges that will do it or people that are you know want to bring their horses I mean, that horse by then is a senior. I'm not gonna be able to place it or I'm gonna have a hard time placing it because you're gonna bring it back to me, you know? And then you've had the best of the horse in the, his best years, and then now you're bringing me back a horse that is old and I'm not gonna place. So there's no thought given to that. And that I think is sad. And I think people really need to look ahead and that's what we do when we have adoptions. It's like, okay, so the kids are here, and how old are the kids, and when are they gonna go to, you know, high school or college? And are you gonna be taking care, are you gonna be totally still be into the guinea pigs? And, you know, and then they get, people sometimes get a little upset. Why, you don't want me to get the guinea pigs? No, I'm just being realistic, and just wanna really point out a few things. the birds is the worst because yeah they live for a long time it's just not just it's it's very um what's the word i'm always looking for the word the, the word start by making we have to teach by um, by by showing people you know by example we can't teach by yelling it doesn't work we can't you teach by making angry posts on the internet you don't teach anybody anything they're just gonna you know, click on the page and say bye bye page and they're not gonna listen to you. So unfortunately people make their own decisions, they are entitled to do so. And um, it's gonna happen and there's no law to prevent it. It's just putting the word out that it's not okay you want to really think about before you're adopting. Anyway, that's a big one. Are you leaving, Brigitte? Or you're always like threatening to leave like five times. I know you by now. Are you 
DJ. I'll let Julia know. So, yeah, you know, it's, uh, it's always stuff. It's stuff. And it's in every rescue. It's not just guinea pigs. It's in every rescue. Hamster rescue, mummy rescue, horse rescue, every single thing. It's, and I hear the same stories. It's like, it doesn't matter. You just, you know, swap one animal for another, and it's the same stories. Same story. Different animal. Different organization. Same stories. Yeah. Very sad. Anyway, this week I am finally... This is kind of finally there, the week that I'm speaking in Colorado. Um, I'm speaking on Wednesday, and I'm going there on Monday, so that I have a day to myself on Tuesday. And then Wednesday is my day of speaking, and then Friday is my day of travel back home, so I'm here, back here on Saturday. And what I'm be speaking about, it's interesting, it's... Um, it is, it, it's a conference, but it's not open to the public. It is just a conference for all the people that work in the, um, you know, uh, the government uh, animal shelters. And I guess there, there's whole associations and stuff associated with that that I didn't even know. Anyway, so they um, invited me to come talk about guinea pigs and I chose to talk about guinea pigs in the shelter system because I there is so little known about guinea pigs and people do think they know it all about guinea pigs but you know yeah I used to have a guinea pig before and so yeah I, I know everything no you don't <laughs> I think they've changed since then like really a lot um, so but specifically the staff in the shelters are um, they don't really get any education at all about what to do with the small animals in, in their system. So I'm hoping that my talk is going to generate some interest because I don't know, maybe no one will show up for my talk. I don't know. Um, but it's about guinea pigs in the shelter system, how to, how to sex the guinea pigs, how to uh, adopt them out, you know, nice cage and all that good stuff, the food that they require. So there's going to be, you know, it's, it's a lot more than just, oh, this is a guinea pig and, and this is what it looks like kind of thing. Um, I, I want to discuss the fact that a skin problem does not mean an automatic uh, euthanization, euthanasia, because that is something that a lot of shelters do because they just don't know what it is and they had rather just you know, not they don't want to deal with it because they're so overwhelmed, even though it is a very, very simple, you know, treatment. Um, so yeah, they're all overwhelmed right now. And if, if I can make a difference by at least telling the staff how to separate the boy, to go, I mean, to even sex males from females, and you know, and that is uh, that that's huge, that's huge. So that will make a difference. And then maybe if I'm good, they might ask me back next year. I don't know. And to be honest, I'm a little nervous, which is funny, because I do my workshops and I, you know, I'm talking here and you know. But this is different, you know. This is not my guinea pig people. I'm talking to people that maybe don't care. I don't know guinea pigs, whatever. You know, this boss told me they come. <laughs> so it's a whole different audience. And I gotta put like a whole PowerPoint thing together, which is just I'm having nightmares over because that's like homework. I hate homework, you know. That's why I ran away from school. No, <laughs> but um. So yeah, I, I gotta make a PowerPoint, which I'll be doing tomorrow. Gabe's coming with me. Yeah, there's very few things that Gabe's not coming with me. Even if I don't ask him to, he's coming with me. It just doesn't exist that Gabe's not coming with me. <laughs> so sweet. Very sweet. Uh, yeah, maybe. Don't want to know more about guinea pigs after, you know, talking. 
it's a 45 minute thing, which I'm sure I'll just fill with lots of talk about guinea pigs. I'm just afraid that I'm gonna go and get all so super excited about guinea pigs in general. I'm like, oh my gosh, you're the best, blah, 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 when I really should be focusing on, you know, of the meat and potatoes and not the, the cuteness. <laughs> oh, I should get to, I should ask Pete to film it. That'll be fine. And I can cringe when I look back at it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you. Okay, I'm gonna screw up your name. Whoopsie. The Jack. Oh, this is bad. I'm not wearing my glasses. Spikovska. I'd say you are from Lithuania. You're probably gonna want to hit me now. I'm just totally wrong. What am I gonna wear? I've never seen you wear the same outfit twice. I do actually. I just mix and match it with all the other stuff so you don't notice it, but I do. Otherwise, my closet be like, I need like a walking closet. But yeah, so Ugh. yeah, well, I have a little laptop. I'm gonna put it on there and I'm just gonna run through it. You know what? If it goes wrong, it goes wrong. What can I do? I'm just gonna wing it. I, I can wing it. I'm good at winging it. lucky you know you gotta pick the right light Lisa that is the totally that that's what does it so you take your photos you gotta stand on the right side of the light so right now this lights nice if I turn around it's not so good see see haha uh -huh. sorry you sort of Well, yeah, there's that, but still. So yeah, we get a bunch of sickies, but not as many as usual, which is good, but we always have tons of sickies. Um, we do. You know, Mill House, I'm very, very concerned about him. He's not eating good. He's got bad, 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 bad pneumonia. Are they starting there? Uh, they are still helping people out. Okay, because I, I need to film that. I need to film it. Hi, Leah. Thank you, my love. One of my guinea pigs has fat under her eyes, fatty eyes. So she's white fur with black eyes. So is it like a little, it, it actually comes out like here, it, it comes out of the eye? Because that's called a PI and that's normal. And it happens usually in piggies that are a little bit older. They can have it on one side or two sides. We did have adoptions today. Yeah, but we didn't get to go there with the show camera so and I'm show you the adoptions. Well, it started with low battery and it died pretty Yeah, soon. because also, yeah, exactly. And I was so busy at the table and I had no help, so I was a little slammed. I was helping to work You were, you were, my darling. <laughs> and a lot of tea trimming, which, you know, you don't do that in five minutes. Though the last one, that was pretty quick. That was good. That was good, and, and he was eating right away, real good, so I'm happy about that. You just never know. Ooh, good. 
Yeah, because that thing just, she's, she's plugging in my, uh, my uh, you know, super duper light. Because it does go, you know, less bright, less bright whenever I use it. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, PI, if that's what it is, look it up and you'll see a photo. And if that's what it is, then you know not to worry about it, okay? They could surgically remove it. It would be like cosmetic guinea pig surgery. And you don't need that. You don't need that. Definitely don't need that. So am I going to check and see where they're at with, with the necropsies? I would because I, I, I need to know. Hmm. Uh, I hope the little piggy was eating bananas going to be okay. I don't know. The vet, I, I handed her over to the vet because I was really stumped what was going on there. Though, uh, could have been a, a horrible upper respiratory that has not resolved. And maybe terrible pneumonia. Alameda, hi. Hi, y'all. Hi, Jen. I'm from Belize. Raffle. Tarzana. Hi, Lisa. Rhode Island. Woohoo. I guess all the euros dropped off because it gets um, gets late. Oh, and Izzy. Izzy's coming home. It's going on Monday. I'm so happy. I don't know what he's planning after that because he's got the euro bug. He really does, which I'm I'm really happy about. I'm really happy about. But if he wants to go live there or do anything, he needs to start speaking ling the lingo. Because right now he's only, you know, can do really much other than England. In terms of professional, is he language? Uh, does he speak Dutch? Does he speak Spanish? Yeah, we're getting professional Dutch. Yeah, Scotland. Yeah. That's almost two a.m. I'm sure. So yeah, we'll see Izzy next next week. And um, ooh, that's the other thing I need to do because I need to do video. I've got footage. I need to put it together. Maybe I'll do that tonight because when I'm gone, I need to post a video and I can't do it while I'm gone. So I've got to do it before now. So sadly, he does. He's with his uncle right now. They're all speaking Dutch to him. Make it fun. So he does. Oh, okay. he, he, let, he speaks so much more than he lets on. He's smarty. He knows. And all of a sudden he's like, what did you just say, Mom? <laughs> and I can't know he was talking bad about him. <laughs> yep. Yes. All right, I think we're getting ready for this knee crops. Because who wants to watch it? I'm just, I'm just curious if anyone would actually want to watch that. Well, Fenella, yes. I can send you the videos, Fenella. I didn't know you were here. Hi, Fenella. Carrie. Just, it would have to be sneakily sent. I can't put that on YouTube. Okay, well there's not, not many who would want to watch that. Or who would want to watch that, right? It's kind of gross and ew. It smells. It stinks. Seriously, I can't stand the smell of meat. And what it is, it's meat. It's just plain meat. You cut it open and what you smell is meat. I can't deal with it. 
Vanilla's in the house. I know. It used to be very quiet. But I'll send them to you, Vanilla. You can't smell them on YouTube, I know. I just breathe them out. Just, you know, I just want to put this thing here, just like, like on there, so I can just look at it from a distance without smelling this stink. See, that's why. It's like, why do you want to eat meat? It is gross. It's just like eating rotten carcasses. You know, and the meat that's been sitting in the, in the store for a bit. It, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> hey, it's my personal opinion. We don't need to have a conversation about it. I'm just saying. <laughs> Miziki. Oh. Uh, yesterday I cleaned up a little bit here. But it's amazing. So many people are becoming more aware. And, and I'm very just, just loving it. I'm just so... It's beautiful. I'm, I'm very happy that that... You know, um, they never found. That's just like consciousness is, is, is coming to the forefront. Yeah. Sparkle ferret, I don't blame you. I love those uh, YouTube names. Sparkle ferret. Sparkle ferret. I thought it was funny. What's the names? Ferret? Names from YouTube people. Ah. Can you be Lori? Get the glory there. I haven't seen it yet. You know, you want to be the email to be put on the list for the for the necropsies. I, I might be able to do something like that. Because they are interesting. You know what you could do? Is you could start the Patreon. As yeah, your, I mean, and I'm sure grows, there are a lot a of idea there's to, a lot of uh, then you doc, videos doctors there that you can pay like a dollar students that might want to see and these you can videos. Post any kind of like the more graphic types of yeah. Okay. Yeah. But wouldn't they just jank it off because it's like the cancel culture and the you know uh, everything is being censored culture. I mean, I'm afraid to put anything on because they're gonna just yank it down. It's science. It's like the, literally the, the called the Google Gestapo is just taking everything off. Discovering cause of death after death. You have to get inside. It's about how you print, how you um, present it. Present it on a silver plate. And smile. Well, that's gross. That must be like okay, right, 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 okay, 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 no, okay, 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 I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. It's been a long, long day. Okay, I am being done because I gotta go. I gotta go and catch this knee grub She was still helping people. Um, and for all you guys really who, also to wanna, who also want to, who also want to, do it, see it, so let me know, okay? Um, mwah. I love you guys. Thank you for watching, everybody. Thank you for helping. Thanks for my girls for moderating, and I love you all. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye -bye. Thank you guys so much for helping with the auction and raising a little extra money for the guinea pigs. Probably will go towards lettuce and good things. Did you still need to finish? I think we'll do those ones next week. Okay. Because I think people were a little stoned out. But okay. We got stoned out? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's find But um, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Love we're you guys. We're worse than the Italians. Okay, bye. We're tired. <laughs> <laughs> bye, guys. Okay. They sold?